All right, so with physique competitions, bodybuilding, aesthetic training, or whatever you call it, your goal isn't to annihilate your muscle groups because if you're annihilating your muscle groups, you're likely not gonna grow. I mean, you can grow, but it's a lot better to focus more on stimulating that particular muscle and actually like targeting the muscle that you're working. So for example, in the video right after this, I'm gonna be doing shrugs. So shrugs are very interesting, especially if you're trying to get your traps to kind of like pop up and stuff like that. You guys need to not go so heavy on your shrugs because if you're like shrugging 500 pounds, like are you really stimulating your traps? Are you working your traps or are you just working like your shoulders, you work in your forearms, you kind of just like work in your, your back and you're not like, 100% focused on your traps. So this is just me letting you know that you probably have been doing your shrugs incorrectly. And the reason why your traps are not growing is simply because you're literally annihilating your traps. You're not even annihilating your traps. You're just lifting heavy ass weights for no with no intention to actually work those partic particular muscle groups that you're working. So in the video, it's gonna be shrugs, barbell shrugs, and we're gonna do this right. We're gonna do this really right so we can actually grow our freaking traps and not have like tiny ass traps while we're lifting like 500 pounds and shrugging 500 pounds on barbell shrugs. Let's do this, come on. Okay, shoulder shrugs, particularly barbell shoulder shrugs. want to do is bring the weight up explosively, hold it, bring it down, slow and control. So what you want to do with this is while you're bringing the weight down, you want to retract your traps. That way when you retract your traps, you're fully focusing on 100% engaging your traps rather than just using like your shoulders or using your arms, your forearms to stimulate your traps. So retracting your traps at the end kind of makes you get that full range of motion and also you want to like pull it down and then that should be a lot more beneficial again lighter weight focus on form and technique and um that is pretty much it so with <clears throat> with traps you want to hit them more frequently again they're a smaller muscle group they can handle a lot and they can take literally less than 24 hours to recover S uh sets and how you should tackle them so if you're somebody whose traps are really really small they're lagging do them do them more frequently as in let's say you have an uh you have chest day um, and you're like, yeah, my trap sucks. I need to work on my traps. You can hit traps at the end of your workout, or if you want, you can do it before your workout. Do four sets of 15 to 20, strict control. You don't really need to go heavy. You just gotta feel it. And um, give it a day to rest, and then hit it again. Give another day, hit it again. Give it another day, hit it again. Again, this is all based on your program and your, how you set up your routine. So you can plug whatever you want into certain parts of your routine just to make up for your traps. And you can actually do this exact same thing with lagging body parts. Again, the only reason why people have lagging body parts is because they just don't really hit those body parts that is lagging. They kind of just ignore it. And when you ignore something, it kind of just stays the same. So if you want to fix the issue of a lag in body parts, what you have to do is hit it more frequently and um, give it time. And eventually you'll see the progress gradually over time. If you're applying progressions, you're increasing the intensity by adding more weight or just how you perform the set. And yeah. So that was pretty much it. Um, another informative information out there that I just put out. If you like this information, you can like, subscribe, share it with your friends. And again, I'm trying to make this a lot more frequently. Like my lagging body parts. 
But um, yeah, so if you have any uh, questions, you can always shoot me a message or DM me on my Instagram at can you lift or email me at can you fitness at gmail.com. All right. Next video will probably be soon.